in sector one drops of rain right now but the flags are all over the place you can see the drops yes. of rain now on the screen as well so for all these riders now they're going to face the real challenge of deciding just how hard they're willing to push at this stage for Andrea Locatelli out in front he's got 2.8 second lead last time around that we lost half a second he's the first rider that's going to hit any of the rain so it really is a big challenge for him he's got no, no one else that he can gauge the grip of so for Locatelli he's now got a two second lead and uh, that lead is coming down he lost a full second in the last sector and it's so dark now down the start finish straight it looks like a night race in Qatar heading into turn number one Isaac Vinales fighting here with Kevin Manfredi there are some riders who are going to throw caution to the wind here the likes of Carl Smith for example has nothing to lose he's going to chase down the podium places he's half the gap to the two Kawasaki's in front of him the first of our riders are going to come in here to change tires so this is an early gamble surely to try and make your way up through the positions if you're the first to change onto wet weather tires and Myers comes thundering around the outside of Andrea Locatelli. Locatelli's thinking in the context of the championship. He doesn't want to take too many risks. Second place is better than bidding it. Myers hits the front. And could we finally see Andrea Locatelli's colours lowers? Watch out for Carl Smith as well. He's making ground hand over fist. He was faster than anyone last lap around. He's up to third position. Philip Ertl is relegated down to fourth place. Isolated fifth at the moment, Manuel Gonzalez. But surely everyone now is going to be ducking in for a change of tyres unless they can manage things. I guess the riders who've already come in will be the perfect benchmark as to what to, the decision is for coming in to potentially change tyres. Locatelli is under real pressure. He's lost four seconds to Carl Smith and Smith has now come through for second place. So it's Myers, Smith and Locatelli. Yeah, and you've got to make sure that you're on the right tyres right now. And for all these riders, the one thing is, you do have an intermediate tyre in the Super Sport class, and they, this could be the ideal time to be able to jump onto that. You can see just how wet it is in that final sector, so you have to come into the pits for most of these riders. But the race leaders all opting to stay out because they want to make sure that they're able to avoid the 81 seconds that you have to spend in pit lane. The problem would also be if it were to dry out now, you've wasted the time changing because of the uh, pit intervention time, and then you wouldn't stand to gain, and potentially would have to change again. Well, the one thing is you're losing about 10 seconds a lap right now, but you can see... Here goes one. Kyle Smith. Smith down the inside of Myas attempting to make the uh, pass for the lead. And this is Kyle Smith, the wet weather expert. But look at these two riders tiptoeing around the circuit now. They've gone one lap too long. You can see here in sector one just how bad it is. They're out there on a slick tyre. At least in the past in this class, you were actually out on a cut tyre. You had threads on the tyre. It was a road tyre, so it was able to work in uh, these kind of conditions a lot better than a slick. And look at these conditions now. Absolutely hammering down rain now so there's going to be a lot of riders that are going to take advantage of having made those pit stops to then come up through the field and certainly for these riders at the front they're just praying now for a red flag my goodness me the rain is coming down like you would not believe we said in advance of this weekend uh, both steve and i have been out here in catalonia between the uh, aragon round and the start of this weekend and at times we've had absolute thunderstorms kyle smith comes through for the race lead but they look as though they're on a cool down lap these two they've got to make it back to the pits as swiftly as possible we saw philip Ertl going off the circuit altogether earlier on in this lap he's now dropped down to fifth place this is the fight for your race lead but it's not going to be very soon because once these riders have gone into the pits the riders who've made their way back out onto the track those who were the first to make the switch onto wet weather tires are going to be the ones at the front of the field a topsy-turvy racing prospect and still the best part of seven laps to go yeah the one problem is though they're giving up so much time right now that uh, their biggest issue is even if they pit they're actually going to come all the way down to the back of the field after spending a minute and 20 in the pits so for them they're really could end up hoping that let's actually finish the lap and hope a red flag comes out as long as two-thirds race distance is being completed full points are still awarded but there's not any reason to stop this race because there's other riders out there on wet tires they've just gone that one lap too long and uh, i wonder will work out as soon as possible, which, well, we won't need to do much of a calculation because suddenly faster times are going to come up from further down the order as to the riders who have uh, made the switch onto those wet weather tyres earlier. Um, Corentin Perilari could be among those who stands to gain the most. Look at that from the droplets of rain on the lens 
of the camera as the riders make their way into pit lane. It's uh, Mayas who is going to make his way from P1. It's Carl Smith who's going to make his way in from P2. They're arguing about the wet weather conditions because clearly they don't want this race to continue. But the riders who've made the earliest switch onto wet weather tyres will be saying, why not allow the race to continue? They've made the right switch at the right time and are going to be those who benefit. The time lost here is going to be quite drastic for the likes of Maya Smith and Locatelli. Yeah, on that lap, they would have lost just masses of time compared to their other rivals. So that's what the biggest issue is going to be. And uh, it is a case of you've got to go out there and adapt to the conditions. The rules are what the rules are. And uh, other riders came into the pits. It's just unfortunate the way it's worked out. Now, this is this is where it's now really on that limit for these tyres as well. We've seen races red flagged in conditions like this because of the standing water that's out there. This is interesting for Locatelli. He's come in and uh, changed into a wet weather helmet as well. So he's obviously got his pit intervention time means that he's got enough time to run in, change a, 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 his visor and uh, then come back out again. And you can see for Locatelli, it hasn't cost him any time. So Andy Vadoya is your new race leader in the Supersport World Championship race number one. Now, has Vadoya simply no. elected to stay out? It's a red flag situation. Yep. Red flag confirmed.